hey guys welcome back to WP event manager and in this video i'm going to show you how to show all the event venues in the uh, website that's available using elementor on the front end side okay so this result is achievable via and shortcode as well but let's say if you don't want to use the shortcode and you want to design a page with elementor using custom elements and all and you want to include the event venues listing in the website uh, inside that design you are making you can do that as well wp event manager got you covered there i'm going to take you through the tutorial and you can follow this if you are a beginner and maybe if you are like advanced user for elementor this should be the same for you okay so to get started let's say uh, we're going to simulate this scenario by creating a page over here you can name your page over here set your template right and when you are done that you can click on edit with elementor to load the elementor designer okay so what element you need is available under WP Event Manager. So over here, uh, you need to search for event venues. Okay, so that uh, element we need, you can drop it over here or wherever you want if you have an existing layout and it will list out all the event venues available in this website, right? So you can see it over here. And this is an interactive element that you can use on your front end side, but we have some configurable options for the element itself. So let's take a look at them. We have like the order ascending or descending. Then we have the order by which uh, the mechanism for order or shorting. So by default, we have title, you have ID, name, modified and random. Okay. So let's say name, uh, it will short it alphabetically. Random, it will short out like randomly. So these are like grouped over here, as you can see, like the alphabets are grouped over here, right? So you can play with the shorting mechanism here, such as the title, ID, name, uh, modified time, last modified time and random. But no matter what you do, uh, they will appear on a group and they will get sorted as well. So keep in mind, play with your sorting mechanism, whatever we like. But I prefer it to be like on name section since that's alphabetically correct and that's more user friendly as well, right? So next we have show thumbnail. So that will show the uh, venue thumbnail, you see this image or not okay so by default is true you can set it to false that will hide the uh, image for the venue as well and you can like configure it as you like right then we have show count so show count means like what venue have how much events uh, with them right so let's say if this venue kokata has uh, one event binded to it right now so it shows one right here same for the the new awesome venue and the stadium as well so you can hide those count so if you want to hide them you can set this show count to false and they will get hidden all right so pretty like simple configurations you can play around with and why use elementor instead of using a short code to display this page if you ask when you are creating a page you cannot really make an exciting design with uh, like default page editor right so for that you have visual editors uh, or like drag and drop editors as we call them like visual editor from WP Bakery from Elementor so this is Elementor tutorial okay so I'm gonna simulate this scenario let's say if we modify this page a little bit let's set it to full width and now uh, the like header section and the sidebar is gone Right. So you can also like drag and drop custom elements over here as well. Let's say if we want to add, uh, let's say uh, in a section over here. Right. So let's say a call out section. So let's change this uh, sections background to something else. Let's choose a file from here. See, and now we can like add an image over here. Let's say a button over here. So let's do that anyway. Uh, you have a better understanding of uh, what I'm talking about here, right? So a button here, uh, let's say a text over there, right here, right? So let's set it to white style, text color, let's say white, right? So you get the basic idea what I'm talking about over here. So now like this, you can create a beautiful uh, layout designing and uh, Let's drop it over here and we're gonna drop an image over here okay so let's like get the image and put it there and we're gonna set it to let's say this one okay so what we make over here is like a fallout section okay you can use that uh, element so let's change this as well to this one so what we are making over here is nothing like extraordinary uh, instead uh, this is like a what do you call that a demonstration about how you can uh, achieve certain th amount of things let's set this padding to 10 as well meanwhile uh, let's set it to 20 why not let's yeah it looks fairly uh, okayish right so what i'm trying to prove here is you can like uh, use this elementor to create beautiful designs uh, alongside with uh, your 
event venue that's being listed over here okay so create your design using elementor if you want to include the event venues inside your design you can do it in this way right so it's not limited to event venue only you can like use our first majority of elements that our wp event manager provides you can find them under wp event manager here and you can include all of them inside your elemental design right so when you are done designing you can hit publish and then you can take a look at it in the front end side right so it would appear exactly the same our call out section over here and our event venues down here right so this is not the tutorial about how to get started or like how to design the page with Elementor. Instead, uh, what I'm implying over here, how to add the event venue listing inside your Elementor design, right? So let us know in the comment what you think of this video, what could have been better and how could we improve it, right? So until next time, I'm Shara saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.